Hello, it is time for a new project with M5 stack tab 5. This is fast ESP32 P4 device and I decided to finally make drum machine or drum sequencer. Maybe it will even help me to improve my bass guitar skills. Bass guitar wa was my passion years ago, but well, I was forced to sell it because financial of reasons. A few months ago I bought a new one, but I'm still a bit rusty. Just like in old days I use only the basic M5 stack libraries and functions, the entire firmware is written in single .ino Arduino file without LVG, L Square Line Studio or any other tools. The code is in the description, so feel free to experiment with it. M5 Stack is one of my favorite companies, and M5 Stack is very good. It is um, because it is beginner friendly, and also they have a bunch of easy to work with modules like this SAM2695 synthesizer module, which is basically producing these sounds. And on the top, the vice are very sturdy with high quality plastic cases. Which bring us to the sponsor of this video, PCB Way. In addition to PCB services, they also offer a laser engraving, 3D printing, and even custom molded plastic models. So feel free to check their site because they are able to make for you your custom plastic cases or aluminum cases or, I don't know, metal cases. M5 Stack devices are also easiest to set up. You just need to install the M5 Stack boards through the Arduino IDE board manager and you need to add the M5 GFX and M5 unified libraries through the library manager. So, how this work? I will clear all my patterns, so I will... Uh, start from uh, beginning, I'll reduce my speed 120 bit per minute and I will click play and not, nothing is happening or but I will turn metronome on and now we have our rhythm now I can put some bass sound now I can add snare And now we have a typical wedding in Croatia. So, let's make something more interesting. Like... And now we can add some I can turn off metronome because I don't need it anymore Here I can see current We have 16 notes in each uh, Rotate current plate note here I can slow it down, slow it up, and that's basically it. There are plenty, there are plenty um, phone apps that can do the same. There are plenty, um, I don't know, web apps that can do the same free software, but I wanted to program my own because this can be useful for many other things, not just for um, drums. This can be used to sequence some tasks, to control, I don't know, some lights. I still don't know for why, I, but I'm sure this can be used for many things.
And yes, I forgot to set save and load buttons still don't work because this is P4 board and I'm still not sure how to write in EEPROM on this new board. So basically for this project you will need M5 Tab 5 of course, but you will also need this synthesizer module because this is what is producing sound. M5 stack is just sending information what sound and when to play. Now let's check in the code. And like I said, I use only M5 stack libraries and this code is less than 500 lines of code. Yes, we have a few other um, files, but those are fonts. And we have a bunch of sprites because I want to uh, update only part of screen that is needed at particularly time. Because uh, when dealing with music projects, you can also... You always need to fight with latency and other problems. Uh, hardest part is to detect detect uh, touch inputs, so it is good to to put all coordinates in some variables. For uh, example, this is play button width, play button height, play button x position and y position. So when you are detecting touch input, you it is easier to write those variables here and this will happen and that's it my code is free feel free to subscribe um, and have a nice day and yes let's hear one more time this goodbye Thank you.